Yo guys, what's going on? Rob with 421 Media House coming at you again with another deck review. This week I've got the grid playing cards. Um, these were originally done on a Kickstarter campaign and I honestly don't know who did them. Uh, but these are really, really cool playing cards. Uh, the green uh, cards were just a regular release. I don't know if they're still available or not. I do know that these were very hard to track down. I think the Kickstarter campaign was about five years ago. The reds are limited edition. Like I said, I got these recently. A good friend of mine, Corey, I'm going to leave a link to his Instagram below. Go check him out. He's doing some really cool stuff. He's a radio tech up in Yellowknife. Uh, go check him out. He does, like I said, does some cool stuff. He knows I'm a big fan of playing cards and I'm pretty deep into this world. Uh, and he tipped me off on these and said, hey man, you should check these out. I know you love Tron. Try to see if you can track down a couple of decks of these for yourself. Uh, and I managed to do it. So like I said, these are still available. They're still not crazy, crazy expensive. I think I paid $30 for the two decks. I know the red ones from what I've seen because they are the limited editions. I don't know how many they printed, but they are limited. Um, they're a little bit harder to find than the green ones are, but and so they're a little bit more expensive, but you can definitely still find the pair of these. Like I said, I got both of them on eBay for $30. Bucks. Um, so yeah, let's get right in, right on into these. You can see from just the outside of the tuck case here, you do get a very Tron 80s tech kind of feel from these. Um, you know, bicycle. They've got the kind of Ace of Spades on the front here, grid 2.0 playing cards. Um, we'll flip them over onto the side here. Uh, by 4 p.m. Designs, Magic Finish UV Ink. Uh, on the reds and then premium casino stock magic finish uv ink on the greens the bottom of the tuck keys here we've got some copy print for the uspcc where they were printed uh united states playing card company copy print on the side here uh they are poker size these are printed on a casino grade card stock uh and then the back of the tuck case we get the back design of the playing cards now i'm gonna crack these open this is where these decks start to get really cool so there's not actually a whole lot of difference between the green deck and the red deck, except for the fact that the green deck obviously has green back design. Now I'm going to quickly go through this deck with the lights on, and then I'm going to turn them off and show you guys what that UV ink actually does. So first of all, we're going to get a double backer and a blank card, and then we get these very interesting looking jokers. Um... I'm going to say, set these aside because there's something cool about these jokers that I'll show you guys in a second here. On the faces of these cards, completely unique designs. Leading Ace of Spades, like I said, you get that really cool Tron kind of feel going for these. I know that there is a Grid 3.0 out there. I don't know if I've ever seen the Grid 1s, but by far my favorite between the 2s and the 3s are the 2s. Um, so you get these unique indices, you get the unique royalty cards. Um, just totally unique faces from the, the ground up. And these are the royalty. You get Suicide King. Always nice to see. Almost get a bit of a 3D vibe from these cards, which is really, really cool. Like I said, these are printed on a B card stock. So these are 310 gram per centimeter card stock. These are the same card stock that the Cherry Casinos are printed on. Uh, anybody that has watched my content knows I really, really dig those Cherry Casinos. One of my favorite decks. Anything printed on that same card stock, for me, pretty much a win. Uh, these are performance coded, and they are embossed. They're linoid finish. Uh, kind of all things that I like to see from a deck of playing cards. Uh, now, quickly, I'm going to run through the reds, and then, like I said, I'm going to turn the lights out, because that's where these cards really pop. So the reds, same thing. You get the double backer, and you get the, um, the blank. I guess I can show you guys quickly the back design of these cards close up uh, before I go too much farther. Um, almost the same back design except for one of them is red, one of them is green. Honestly, myself personally, I prefer the greens, but I'll show you why here in a second. So once we turn these lights off, they really pop for us. Um, so again, same thing with the Jokers. There's not a whole lot that changes on the faces of these cards. They're basically exactly the same as what you saw before, except for instead of having the green red cards you get the red red cards same kind of 3d look on those royalties i like i said i really dig these cards these are this is one of my favorite decks shout out big shout out to Corey. go check them out um 
he uh, he definitely was the one that tipped me off on these playing cards. So I hope you guys are ready for this because this is mind blowing here. So these cards, I'm gonna pull my black light a little, a little bit closer. These cards have a unique pattern that shows up under black light. So regular light, no pattern, black light, that pattern shows up. And this is on both the front and the back of these cards. The backs glow quite well. It's not showing up super great. I'm gonna grab the other deck because the other deck does glow a little bit better. Uh, the, the greens do have a better glow to them. So you can see those ones pop quite a bit more. Um, these really, it's not showing up super great in video. These pop a lot. Uh, one other th quick thing before I go too far, the, the Joker here does have a King of Spades reveal in it. It's only one of the two Jokers that has that in it. But yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll just go through these quickly. Like I said, these are so freaking cool. Look at these. You get that unique design. These are the royalty cards here. You get that unique design that pops under that black light and shows up where you normally wouldn't see it. Like I said, we'll turn the regular light back on here. These are so freaking dope. I can't, I can't get enough of these. Um, I'll fan them for you guys quickly underneath that black light. Pretty cool. Uh, totally unique back design on these guys. Um, so those are the um, those are the grid playing cards. I hope you guys enjoy these. These are, like I said, these are really cool. If you get a chance to track these guys down, I think that these are almost anybody that's into card collecting or cardistry should probably pick up a deck of these because they're these are really cool. They'll really blow your your friends' minds. I've shown these off to quite a few people, and they're always like, "Oh man, these are." These are awesome. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this. Comment below. Let me know if you guys are interested in picking up a deck of these things. Because like I said, the UV ink to me, mm, I I love it. Um, so hopefully you guys, you guys dig that. Uh, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you guys enjoyed this. And we'll see you guys next week for another deck review.